Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorhome and Adventures. Hi indeed. It's October and we're off to Birmingham. And oh yes. That can only mean one thing really. Yeah. It? Yeah. Caravan and motorhome show. We got some vans to show you. We got some other bits to show you. Needless to say, let's get on and straight into the films. Enjoy. So here's a nice comparison. If you've seen the uh, Contiki's on the uh, channel, then here's a bit of a comparison with the Grand Frontier. It's the GF88, so it's an auto trail, obviously. Um, and this one is uh, very similar to the Contiki's, 8.79 metres long. As displayed at 130,000, which we'll show you around shortly. This is another tag axle, so therefore it's, um, it's got a gross vehicle weight of um, five tonnes. As I say, a very similar setup to the uh, to the Contiki's. Nice looking van as well, isn't it? There we go. So let's take you inside. Nice slot that is for the uh, for the built-in TV there. Very nice. And they're a bit similar to the uh, Contiki in that you've got that big lounge area at the front here. This would be, I guess, a bit like the 894 Contiki because this one's got the uh, island bed. Again with the Fiat, obviously the Fiat chassis. 2024 Fiat dashboard there. And some lovely comfy seats. And again, a fair way back there with that 8.8 odd metres back behind you when you sat here in the driver's and passenger seat. Shout out as well to one of our lovely subscribers who I know had been waiting for his Grand Frontier for some months. Sending uh, our best wishes and hoping that the van is, I'm sure, everything you hoped it would be. Drop down bed, obviously, at the front there. Which is obviously slightly different design to the Contiki and that that one had the lowering double coming down from the ceiling in the sort of lounge area, whereas that one's a little bit further forward. Nice little galley here. With the pull-out cupboards here. Beautiful. your table stowed away in there that would obviously fit out the front here lovely big fridge freezer there that's nice too isn't it the microwave tucked away under a under another cover three gas one electric burner More pull-out storage there. There's my shelves underneath and then the slidey out one at the top. Some lovely recessed LED lighting as well. It does make a lot of these new, well these 2024 vans. It does give them a really nice finish. And of course some of them are even innovating with colour changing light as well. It's a good size shower cubicle that. Thank you. 
and then obviously this door here comes across and fits into here so you can get that bit more privacy and turn it into a large ensuite. There we go. Radiators there as well. And that lovely island bed. Got some drawer storage up at the end here. Little cubby holes there, and nice, good size wardrobe space hanging around there. Lighting coming on automatically, and then the end lockers, as we see on many, many vans. And then identical over the other side, your little cubby hole in your wardrobe space. Lovely, isn't it? A really nice, uh, really nice van. I'll just give you a little glimpse if I lower that slightly. There you can see that really good double bed space that comes down from the roof there. Really easy to really easy to get up and down as well on those gas struts. Lovely. Cracking van that. And you would say it probably does or is positioning itself against the uh, 874 or in this case the 894 Contiki but both offer some lovely accommodation, don't they? For that, um, and obviously slightly shorter this one by only about 100, 200 mil. That's 8.8 .8 meters. Lovely van. The GF, the Grand Frontier. Let's show you a little bit more of the uh, specification there. There's that five tons I was talking about. Gives you, uh, it's mass in running order is four, so it's giving you a ton of payload as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Good, uh, some good power unit as well with 180 brake. Four seat belts, four belted seats, and a four berth. And the one we've just shown you there, 131, so a little bit pricier than the Contiki, but a nice setup though, nice with those two awning lights under there as well, isn't it? I like the way the uh, awning sort of fits into the design of the roof as well, rather than being, you know, look, it looks more like it's built in rather than an add on. Nicely done that. Let's get some light in there for you. That's a great size garage, isn't it? space that. Um, obviously we can't show you every single um, every single outside space, storage space, because it's uh, ready for all the show goers who are due in in about an hour. But hopefully that's giving you a flavour of the Grand Frontier, which um, I think you'll agree, a lovely, a lovely example of an auto trail that. Do check out the channel, plenty of other films on there to keep you occupied for hours. Loads of motorhomes, you know you want to. <laughs> It'd be lovely to have you along guys. So uh, do tell us, uh, do let us know what you thought of the Auto Trail, Grand Frontier. And check out the channel for some other films from here at the uh, Caravan and Motorhome Show, October 2023, for the first look at some of those 2024 vans. Hi guys, well I hope you enjoyed the film, mm. uh, thanks ever so much for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed this review then uh, please subscribe to the channel 
um, as there are many more reviews of motorhomes and camper vans on there. Absolutely, yes. God, wasn't that fun? Love a bit of caravan and motorhome show. So, look out for the next one. Plenty coming from the October 2023 Caravan and Motorhome Show. We'll see you again soon. See you guys. Bye, guys.